He is easily one of the most recognizable personalities around the world. The man whose multiple heritage and ascendancy to the world's most powerful job become part of a Cinderella story. Barack Hussein Obama. And this is the enduring image that Kenyans remember from his last visit in 2015, a sitting U.S. president to the Kenyan connection, making the grand entry into the land of his father. In the first time I came to Kenya, things were a little different. When I arrived at Kenyatta Airport, the airline had lost my bags. <laughs> that doesn't happen on Air Force One. That was in 1988. A 27-year-old American man had traveled to his father's country to learn about his roots, received by an elder half-sister. As she said, Alma picked me up in an old Volkswagen Beetle, and I think the entire stay I was here, it broke down four or five times. <laughs> we'd be on the highway, we'd have to call the Joe Kali. He'd bring his tools. We'd be sitting there waiting. And I slept on a cot in her apartment. The guy slept in a camping bed behind my couch in a tiny living room in a tiny flat. That's how he came to Kenya. Yeah. So, in the words of Jeff Koinangi, what a man. <laughs> but the agony and tribulations he faced on his first visit at the side of his sister formed a bond so strong that when he ascended to the high office, he chose not to forget. I once drove my brother from the airport in a battered Volkswagen Beetle. You all saw it on Friday. He returned the favor. 27 years later, he gave me a ride from the same airport in what is called the Beast. From the Air Force One to the official limousine, otherwise known as the Beast, to the Guard of Honor and shared presidential press conference, to a state banquet and a dance to the Kenyan tunes. Niaje, Wasi. How are you? Ni? <laughs> At that time, President Obama attended the 6th Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Nairobi. But the images when he comes on Sunday will be markedly different. First, the former president who will be visiting Kenya as a private citizen and not even a former U.S. head of state will arrive aboard a private jet in Nairobi. The glamour of 2015 will not be at the airport, while he will be subject to the Secret Service security team. Given his U.S. stature, they won't be as imposing as they were in 2015. In 2015, he got into the country in the evening. He is expected to arrive during the day and proceed to a courtesy call of President Kenyatta and also meet ODM leader Raila Odinga. The visit will not be a state affair. His is personal, a brother coming in to cheer up a sister on a noble mission, the Saudi Kuhu Sports Resource and Vocational Training Center in Kogelo, Siaya County. <laughs> the man known for his change initiatives in Chicago his hometown way before his entry into politics. And now the Obama Foundation will make the long trip to inspire values that would appear run in the family. You know, there's an expression that says, we plant a tree uh, not because we will enjoy its shade, but because our children and grandchildren will. After CIA on Monday next week, Obama is set to fly out to South Africa from the Kisumu International Airport, marking the shortest visit he has ever made to Kenya. <laughs> and so while Kenyans got a chance to shake the hand of Obama three years ago, watch and listen to him at public spaces, a now more private citizen has become scarce. Only the chosen few will have a chat and take selfies at State House, Alego or appointed locations. And so such billboards and merchandise speak for the people of Siaya County that will have the unique opportunity to welcome the former U.S. president to the country. On it, written Warwa Kidala, standing for Welcome Home. Sam Getukosri ZNTV, Siaya County.